Sorry folks, my last recording got cut off by a power uh, flicker and I forgot to re-record. So what I've been uh, doing um, since the end of part one here, I've just gone in with darker colors and I'm not wetting them, I'm just smudging them with my fingers to uh, do some shading in each little glass partition here. Enjoy your supper. <laughs> All right, so now I need a nice yellow. Maybe a yellow orange. Yeah, see, I'm not going to be able to do much in these ones because um, of the texture paste. Now, I need to find the right stencil. <clears throat> so it's the Artist Cellar Cathedral in a 12 inch size. So this was the jelly print that I lifted from this. So I'm just gonna turn it this way. No, I'm not. Now that I see that there, it's going to take away from what I have on this side. So I think what I'm going to do on this side is simply do the color, do some color. So I think I'm simply going to... Actually, I think I'm just going to color it and then I know what I'm going to do. Okay, so purple, blue. Yes, I am going to journal on the right side. doing this in the wrong order but I don't care it's just intended to be rainbow colors not necessarily rainbow order
Sandy. Okay. Where's my matte medium? Pour the water out of there. Not as bad as the thunder, loud as the thunder that uh, Jonna was having, but it's just a little storm brewing over here. Uh, he's, he's eating pepperoni. <laughs> Bye, Erica. Someone's tweet. Who is trying to get a hold of me? Just one moment, in case it's my sister's wanting something. I better check. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, my other sister got home, unpacked. They went to get groceries for a barbecue. Although my sister just wanted a bagel. She got outvoted by the rest of the family. <laughs> so. trying to keep the gel medium as clean as I can as I go to each color so I don't end up with mud at some point which can happen when they're using all the colors of the rainbow it's good here line blending between these colors of course very nice they're so smart, though. So. I mean, a Border Collie mixed with an Australian Shepherd? Yeah. Smart little guy. Yay, Max. So I'm going to use my black pit pen to do the quote, but I still have something I need to add here. Yeah, I'm back. I'm trying to take just from the edge 
so that uh, I have some music paper that I'm also going to put on here so around the edge going into my red Now, the question is, do I put black, oh, I'll have to decide after I put my letters in, after I put my quote in. Thank you, Lynn. So I have to get music in here because... Put a little bit of gesso over this side so let me do that now before it's totally dry I think so that my quote will go down nice um, okay let's do just a little bit of gesso here it's too much but got a larger brush here somewhere there it is okay I need a big white I just got a brilliant idea had my black gesso cleaned up I would have used black gesso but this will work too just got a brilliant idea just got a brilliant idea anyone know what my brilliant idea is
I never think of using this technique either for whatever reason. Now, let's see what the reveal gives us. Ta-da! There we go. Thank you, Vicki. Yes, I did. Neocolor 2s. There's some texture paste here. This is a jelly print, a reverse print, left over from my last jelly plating, and some texture paste, light molding paste. So I still get that design flowing just in a different way. Thank you, Nikonda. Okay. So now, so I just have. Um, so, oh, I need a little, uh, do I have any matte medium left here? Yes, I do. I'm going to have to turn this upside down in order to cut it back here. Uh, oh, I guess I'll need a clean baby wipe. I just threw the other one out. Alright. <clears throat> so let's turn the book around. Small detail scissors. Oops, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be going around that with black anyway. Going around the edge with black. Sleep well. I could. Oh, I could write it as a treble clef. Oh. No, I'm going to put a treble clef in the sing, but I have. Paper I'm going to use. I have some yummy paper that I'm going to, that I have to start using. Patty bought it for me, so I am going to. Hmm. 
I know, it's like handmade yummy paper, Teresa, that uh, Patty bought me down in Like, look at the texture of the linen paper. Look at it. It's just yummy stuff. Yummy, yummy, yummy stuff. Look at that, it even goes translucent on the page. How yummy is that? Ooh, look, it goes translucent. I guess I can zoom in. Oh, I know why it's not. Hold on. Just a moment. When I came back, I didn't uh, open my webcam settings and zoom in a little bit here. There we go. better. So, Patty, if you watch this recording, I'm finally starting to use your paper. I had to wait for the right project. Okay, let's see here. Make a nice long piece. I don't want to totally, yeah, maybe a little lower. Because yeah, I don't want to go over the middle of that. and use it for my next piece.
That's blending a lot better than I thought it was going to. I thought I was going to have to use a little color on top, but I don't think I have to now because it blends in quite nicely. Okay, one more piece down here. And I don't think it has to be really long. needs a thin piece, I think. Oh, I definitely will then, for sure. I will for sure post a picture on Twitter. <laughs> Sorry, you guys can't see the bottom there. Pulled it a little close, too close to me there on that one. Sorry about that. Okay, so now let's make sure those are dry. And now it's time for my black. check and make sure to make sure I get the quote right to draw you must close your eyes and sing okay so I have an idea of what I want to do on the word draw I want to do something special so And that's not dry, so I don't want to use my. Okay, I still eat gun, cola again. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it. I was a little too. Uh, it's over here still. Not dry. <laughs> That I don't care about so much. I just don't want to run into this and mess up my marker. Jump out at me anytime. Oh, there it is. It's 
See, you did it. Listen to what I asked it. So, so two draw. do sing there. <sighs> All right, so to draw I went. Yeesh. And sing. smaller black marker for his name because that'll go too wonky. I'm not good enough with my touch to do it with that. Pablo. Caso. Two S's. Okay, one C, two S's. I have to make sure I spell it right. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Fiona. Now, all right, edges. Oh, actually, I'm good. I have to color over all this black, but I've got to do the edges for sure. My big brush marker. It's India ink, but if you're I've got a lot of matte medium here, so as long as you're quick, you can get some smearing working out here. So it blends a little bit. Yeah. 
Thank you, Cindy. Thanks, Vicki. Thanks, Eileen and Teresa. Trim a little more here. The wires will get messed up anyway on the top of the page, so I may as well tear it off and Oh you're welcome, thank you for coming, Vicky. to decide what I'm going to do on I might do some scrapbooking on Monday so I have some very I have so much scrapbooking to get caught up on thank you CB it does make help out doesn't it I like it I like it I think I like it so now I just have to go over all my black lines here so that it really looks like a stained glass window but I think I need to use a ruler for that some of it anyway because I want the straight lines to be straight <laughs> oh, okay, Vicky. See you later. Thanks.
So I have a stubborn fruit, fr fruit fly flying around here. Got rid of most of them. It is very nice and juicy. It does a great job. Goes over anything. Really does. It's India ink, so it is permanent once it's dry. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Get those black lines nice and... Because, you know, in a stained glass window, the black lines are black. And that's what really helps the color panes pop. to tip it up here so I can get these sections I'm no pro at this. I'm very new to this whole art thing, let alone art journaling slash whatever. Brand new to it all. So I'm learning as I go. Thank you, McLinda. Turn the rest of that upside down to get the rest of that part. It's just getting too far away from me. Oh, okay. Turn her upside down here. <clears throat> really want to go that matte medium is still wet there so I don't want to clog up my marker <laughs> yeah <laughs> thanks I did I just did CB add a texture paste to my bag of tricks Oh no, Bunny! <laughs> oh no! I'm so not going there. That's one thing I have no desire to add to my bag of tricks at all. Splatters.
Oops. Don't have a very steady hand, so. I do, Lynn. I do know my mind. And I'm stubborn like my mom. I should have colored that in a color too. Hmm. Never even thought of that. Oh well. So I'll leave it white. It can be white. So here's my question. Do I go around my little pieces of paper and do a smudge around that or just leave it blend like that? Yeah, I like it. I like the darker black lines for sure. had to be done. So the question is, do I go around my little pieces of paper? I think I sh I think I want to. But I don't want to wreck it either. Okay, I'm actually I'm going to do this one over here first. I'll do this one down here. I think it needs it. <clears throat> I think so. Just to give it a little more dimension. So I think it blends in too much almost. Yeah, I think so. Take this off now, maybe. It'll look better once I get these papers out of the way too. 
I have to go around that page with black again too because I got some gesso over it. There, see that looks better without those papers there too. Bunny, woohoo! That Dee Dee tweeting me. So that's what I thought. I just had to ask. Definitely needed it. Ha! Funny! I am not an expert. Don't be silly. Gosh. I've never done texture base before. Heck, I've never done half of this stuff before. I'm no expert. You just got to do it and find out what works for you. Gosh, no expert here. Don't know what I'm doing at all. Whoa. That part didn't get stuck down very well and it's still wet there. Just have to find what's right and what worked for me was finding jelly plating because I waited for three years to do a journal page because as much as I watched Paula and love what she does I couldn't make my mind I couldn't, it wouldn't work in my mind. And then when I found jelly printing, jelly plate and jelly printing, I realized it's because I think backwards from what Paula does. And that's why the jelly plate worked for me. And then I was able to kind of start doing pages like this once I get used to layers and colors and what whatever then I was able to kind of move it on to a page where I wasn't using the jelly plate so that's took me three years to get up the courage to To make it work because I couldn't figure it out in my head it just wasn't making sense and I I don't know it's I'm analytical and I'm very um, I'm not abstract at all I'm very literal very literal and Paula is quite a lot more abstract than me and and that's part of why it wasn't working either because like if I want to have a stained glass window I want it to look like a stained glass window right I'm very I mean oh patty too definitely 
My name's being bad again. Calling me bad names. My name's being mean. Sheesh. There. Ta-da! before I go wash my hands. Uh, there. All right, let me put it right in the screen for you there. There. It's actually, the, the colors are much more vivid than it's showing on my screen. Quite a bit darker. You can see more of the texture. Thank you, Jillian. <laughs> See me! Oh my goodness! Ha <laughs> ha! That's a good one. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> so I would like to thank all my friends in the box, all my fibs, for joining me in chat. And this is part two, part one. I'm gonna have to make take it off private because we got interrupted in part one by a power flickerage so i will definitely tweet a picture for sure i'll even stand up out of my chair and take it from up above instead of going like this with my camera ah. so anyway so thanks everyone for coming and keeping me company and getting my page done that i was going to do on monday See you all later.